Be ready for a hot day today. We may have a few isolated showers and thunder showers out there, but nothing like what we saw to the north. Yesterday, just south of Dallas Fort Worth, where I 35 splits and goes west and east, we saw some very heavy rainfall up to six inches. Also, these little red dots that you see here are sightings of tornadoes. And they also had heavy rain further out to the east as this storm system kind of rolled out to the southeast and down towards the Houston Galveston area. It is now faded away and gone, but we could see more showers develop maybe a little bit further south in uh, Long I 35. Those showers too will move to the east. So whatever we have will move out. And then as we get into tonight, a little front is going to change things up completely. We won't see another rain chance until this coming weekend. 75 degrees right now. Cloud cover winds are calm. Humidity at 84%. We have 50s out in the hill country. 54 in Llano. 57 in Mason, 58 in San Saba. Then you get to 60s and then 70s, 75 here, and 72s out to the east in Bastrop and LaGrange, south in San Marcos and Lockhart, 69 in Rockdale, 71 in Giddings. All right, showers yesterday, heavy thunderstorms to the north of us, and that rolled to the south. Now, we did get some light rain there towards the noontime hour. That faded away, but the heavier rain to the north of us was yesterday evening, and it rolled all the way south into Louisiana and faded away. We've got a possibility for a few showers to line up along I-35, so watch for that today. As we get into the afternoon hours, of course, that's when we see things firing up into thunderstorms, so we'll keep a close eye. Go to KXN.com, click on the weather tab, and then severe weather, and you'll be able to get uh, our high-def Doppler, which allows you to look at everything weather-wise and also lightning data. So if you want to check and see where the lightning is. Slight risk for severe weather to the northeast of us. Also a moderate risk for severe storms. Now, our forecast model isn't leaning too heavy on the rain today. Is it right? Is it wrong? I'm going to say that we still could have a few isolated showers, even though it's not indicating so for the afternoon hours. And beyond that, then that front rolls in and it is quiet and cool. 97. I jumped past it too quickly here. 97 for the high today. Could see temperatures to 100. Maybe like areas like Lano. 62, the overnight low, and this time tomorrow morning, we ought to have winds gusting up out of the north as a little front makes its way through. 84, the high tomorrow, 87 on Thursday after a morning low of 54, and then a little hotter in the afternoons, near 90, Friday and Saturday, morning lows, 50s and then 60s, but another front brings the chance for showers Saturday into Sunday, 30% chance for showers on Sunday, and then a little cooler weather again on Monday.